Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. All right. Now, last time I finished up those coasters, they came out beautiful. They are done. And now we're all gonna unmold this, <sighs> this silly little thing that I filled up, <laughs> the jar. The one I filled up with all the beads. So, let me go get some clear tape, clean up this mess, and get my resin set up, and then we can get started. Let me make sure the camera is focused and in. All right. And we'll get started. Okay, don't forget to hit subscribe while you're thinking about it. Now's a good time. Okay, I'm using a Let's Resin Deep Pour, and I got some white beads and some black beads. I will get this stirred up. It is a two to one. And <laughs> I spilled everywhere. So I'm going to pause it while I mix my resin and then we will pour. And I will add some beads. Since I already added beads here. Most of it on one side is spilled because I set it on the table so it's not level. I want to make sure that it's level. So I'm going to put it in the middle to make sure, as you can see, it's not level. You can see this is higher and this is lower. All right, so I'm going to pause it and I'll be back. Okay, we're back. <laughs> I thought this cup was clean, but I noticed there's some, some wisp in there. But I stirred it for seven minutes trying to get rid of it. And a piece of glitter floated up. <laughs> So I'm going with it. All right. So I'm going to let it sit. It's, it's debubbling. There ain't too many bubbles there. And I am going to add some beads to the lid. I'll probably add some more to the bottom. I'll probably use small ones. I have small ones here. Let me see what we got. I have some really small ones. I like little hearts and stuff. So, let's get all the big ones out of the way. See what we can find to just sit on the bottom. I have these wonderful little bobbly beads. I can't even get those with my gloves on. Let me take my gloves off. All right, here we go. Yeah, just take my gloves off and put some on the bottom. There we go. I don't know if I want that. I don't know if I want that. I have little ones in that. Okay, I can use those. I don't know if I want those. I have some cute littler beads here. Go ahead and add some smaller beads. Finish finish up the, the bead thing. Yeah, that looks so smart. Alright. Just finish up the bead thing. Uh, that's kind of big. Put it along here where it's deeper. That way it'll sit flat. There we go. All right, that's good. All right, now to add some beads to the lid. I got these flowers. They're very pretty. got flowers and uh, I got the, I thought I had little white hearts. I don't see any. thought I did. I do have these like little white pearls. They're really hard. <sighs> so 
but other things just other smaller things just went way down to the bottom. It's like, no, we're hiding. Okay, here we go. I have some that are kind of pearly. Goes back in, and then we'll add the black, and then we'll pour the resin. I thought I had, I do. One more. We'll go one more. Okay. So that's what we'll do. Simple, easy. No, I'm not going to fill up another mold. I don't think I need to. I want to make sure I have everything I need in this one. that this one does not overfill get all the bubbles out make sure that it's level there we go make sure it's level all the way around and just fill up the lid now these might want to float so Make sure they stay down. Maybe I'll add some more beads to it. I don't see why I can't. I'll add some more beads to it. They don't want to stay down. There we go. <laughs> oh, I really did not want to stick one of those in there. But that's okay. I can stick one of those in there, though. There we go. That's fine. All right. There we go. Get some more beads. Get rid of the more beads. All right. Make sure that this is level. Make sure it's done all the way. I don't want a uh, sharp edge. I don't want it to not be... I have to get in underneath the camera. Sorry. Make sure there's plenty in there. That looks like it's going pretty good. And now to do this one. Make sure I do it all the way. Go through, find any bubbles, there's a few bubbles popping up, sink things down underneath, 
sure that it sinks. Get those bubbles up. Get rid of the bubbles. Make sure that it goes through. And the reason why I'm not going to get onto the mold is because I got out my my spear mold. that I got from littlewindows.com and I'm just gonna pour the excess resin into the spheres and I can use them for something later <laughs> which is what I'm doing right now I'm just pouring it into the spheres setting it off to the side matter and uh, yeah I'm just gonna pour it off to the side but it's in it because I can always do something with it later we don't want to waste any resin you can always find a project to do so, all right, I'm going to turn on the heat mat, let that sit for a few minutes, get these bubbles out, so that we don't have too many bubbles, because it looks like they're trying to come up. Then we'll turn on the heat mat and wait for it to cure. I'm going to put my box over my other resin so that it can just sit and cure overnight. It'll be fine. And then we will come back. We'll come back once it's cured. See you in a second. Don't forget to subscribe. Tap the like button. Share. Leave a comment. Check out my links. All right. All right. We're back. Oh. See how this went. Please excuse the noise. My neighbors are upstairs vacuuming. I don't know why they're vacuuming this late, but they are. It's after after seven o'clock. I don't know why they're noisy. But they are. Yeah. Alright. Uh, it's been a couple hours. It should have set. So, let's hope it did. It looks like it did really good. Oops, it's still kind of wet. Okay, maybe it's going to take more than two hours. Well, this one looks like it did okay. Well, maybe it's going to take more than two hours. It's still wet. So I'm going to set it for a couple more. And then we'll come back. Oh, I spilled it. Oh, no. Yeah, this is this is a deep pour. So we'll set it for a couple of more hours. Then... We'll come back after couple more hours okay see you in a bit hi everybody i know i know little delay little delay um this is the next day couldn't do it the same day it took forever to set up because i poured it so thin and it was a deep pour Oh, let's go ahead and take the lid out first. I'm sure it's going to come out just fine. Like I said, I was just putting in the resin to do this jar. Because I'd already started it. Oh, that came out cute. Got a couple bubbles. I think it's because that thing had a hole in it. Yep. Oh, but it came out cute. 
Now this goes like this into the jar. So that's fine. <laughs> this jar is going to take some work. Because <laughs> it took a while to fill it. Which does not guarantee that the mold release is going to work. Look at all these big drips of resin. Oh. Put those up. Let's get this out of this jar mold. Can you just imagine this is going to take some work? Let me get my alcohol spray here. <laughs> get down in there. Yeah, there's some sharp edges here. I gotta be careful. to me and try and curl it. Alright, here we go. Yeah, that bottom's gonna need to be sanded. Oh. All right. Let's get this mold back to where it's supposed to be. Okay. Well, it came out really clean. Wow. It's got a few little bubbles. The beads didn't sink all the way, and this is going to have to be filed down. It's kind of sharp edge, but look at that. All right. That came out nice. I like that. I'll just file this down. File this top, and that came out really nice. Okay. Thank you for joining me, and like I said... If you're not subscribed, now's a good time to do so. We make beautiful jars, whether we want to or not. <laughs> and we have fun with resin, and we sometimes make mistakes. Thank you for joining me. Hit subscribe, like, share. Tap the bell for all notifications. Check out my links. Check out my store. Everybody, have a good day. Bye-bye.